for Blazing and welcome back to a Scorchy Andy video of Splatoon 2. Now we're here for the Splatfest theme. Which Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle do you prefer, Raph or Donny? Now I'm going to be going for Raph for this one, back to the OG since the first part. Now this Splatfest has been a bit of a saga because we've had, um, you know, we had Raph versus Leo. And I'm gonna be record. I'm gonna be uploading um, what's it called? Uh, the first part of um, what's it called? Mikey versus Donny now. And then from there, yeah. I mean, there's no point doing a reaction to the result because you guys can already see it now from the previous one. So obviously, I'm going with Raph from the first part, the OG, the homie. So I'll see you guys for the first match now. Freaking no way. We have got a Raph versus Raph off the bat. That is so tragic. It's just I don't like it. Oh well, it looks like we're starting it off with the team that we ha we're facing ourselves. That's the first match, so not traditional colours. We are going um, we're going to be dark blue. They're going to be um, neon, flashy, phosphorescent green. It looks supreme, but I prefer that colour to what I am. But who cares? We're not fighting for colours here. We're fighting for what we believe in. And here's the first shifty station. We're here at the shifty station now. Oh god, this shifty station looks actually pretty neat. We've got cool, like, you know, sort of, almost like skate park, like, you know, sort of platforms here. And we've got sort of lovely lifting barriers there and stuff. I love it. It looks awesome. Okay, I'm surprised I'm not dead. Like, honestly, oh, as soon as I say that, I hate when you say that you're not dead and you're surprised about it. Then moments later, what you say that you're surprised you're not or what hasn't happened, it does happen. It's just like... That really just destroys the vibe of what just happened, you know? It's really just that. Didn't like it what bit, one bit. Alright, let's get this bit. Everybody's ignoring this part right here. Probably will be a crucial part in the long run. Okay, um, you're somewhere. Okay, you're here. Oh my god, hurry up and spawn. Thank you, gosh. Like, sometimes the spawning timing can be punishing because people, you know, can spawn camp, like, right next to you as you're shooting at a spawner. It sounds weird. Like, they will... You know, what? they'll watch you, like, just in their ink, just, you know, watching you and spy on you, just, you know, targeting a spawning player, and then they'll just wait for you to, you know, take your time and do your thing, and then later on, they'll just come and swoop out at you like a vulture and just take you, like, prey and meat for dinner. <laughs> Alright, um, goodbye. Okay, God, these, this team hasn't been, you know, too deep, which is kind of unfortunate, because when you think about it, we're facing people that are on our side, so if these people are crap, that, that's essentially saying that uh, the people on our side aren't doing good. And our own players aren't good, so that's really saying a bad thing about us right now. So that's showing that people on our team aren't doing too hot, which means that, yeah, we're not, yeah, in a good space at the moment. God, I've got a blocked nose. That sounded real horrible, but I sort of cleared it slightly. Um, no. Okay, um, I'm just gonna do that. Alright, cool. Why would your teammate leave you? Like, that slosher player just left you for death right there. He doesn't have a care in the world that you just died. He's been so mean. Like, I would hate to be that guy to have the soul to leave a spawning in player just so that, just to kill them and use them as bait for your evacuation. What kind of soul do you have, man? I, would, I wouldn't like to be you, that's for sure. Hey, these guys, man. I mean, okay, that was a pretty pretty bad fight. I mean, I sort of hustled. We were both hustling and we were both, you know, doing pretty bad. But we're destroying right now. I mean, yes, this is a Wrath vs. Wrath and that's no fun at all, but we are actually crushing kind of a lot of soul right now. Okay, please don't. Please leave me alone. Please don't rain contamination, contaminated green onto me. That would be awesome. Ah, uh, okay, um, where are you? There you are. All right, get stuffed and yeah. Wow, we kind of... Sort of, kind of crushed their lives apart. Yeah, we destroyed. Look at that. Boom, baby! Look at that. 61.6 to 29.2. Oh, you just got thrashed by the wrath. Actually, the wrath. Actually, to be fair, we got you guys got crushed by your own team members. That's so sad, actually. You guys got destroyed by your own team members and your own, you know, your own comrades. That's really sad. You guys got crushed by your own friends and comrades in the fight and people you're affiliated with. That sucks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another match and another weapon. And not another weapon, the same weapon, actually. Why am I saying that? So I'll see you guys for that. No! chain and we've got a rough versus dummy team match I should say not team 
Ralph vs. Donny match, here we go. We break free of the chains of the versing our own side, so here we go, let's do it. Alright, these are the games that matter, so we have to fight our hardest. I love how the colours in the, um, I've already said this, probably a bunch throughout my other Splatfests. If you haven't seen my other, like, dozen Splatfest videos, I mean, I've got more than a dozen. I've probably got, like, 30 or 40 Splatfest videos by now. If you've not seen them, I'll link you guys up to the playlist right now so you guys can check them out. I've done heaps. I think, um, the only one I didn't cover was the first ever Splatfest, which was, um, I think it was Ice Cream vs. Cake. And that was a Splatfest to sort of, you know, sort of show what Splatoon 2 was going to be like. That Splatfest wasn't actually a part of the game, I remember. Yeah, that Splatfest wasn't even, like, on the release of the actual game. That Splatfest was a, um, was a Splatfest that was just downloadable. It wasn't even on the game itself. On Splatoon 2 itself. So, technically that doesn't count. I mean, it does, but, I mean, I, I didn't record that one. But ever since I've recorded, uh, yeah, ever since I've recorded every single one. So, I've got all of them except the very, very, very first one, which sort of doesn't count, but does at the same time. But, I mean, yeah, you get what I mean. Gosh, scummy blasters, don't you just hate the fate of facing that clash blaster? Oh, your death can't come much faster from another weapon. <laughs> Alright, I despise um, clash blasters, though I love using them, so a very contradictory thing, is it? Yeah, very contradictory. To hate, oh my gosh, I, I don't have a word that just describes the amount of disappointment that I'm feeling at the moment. Otherwise, you know... I just don't have any other word other than disappointment. It's the only word I can say to describe that sort of, you know, sentiment right there. Okay. Please, um... Oh my god, I'm not! I'm sorry, I'm trying to stop raging a bit. I mean, rage is obviously my channel. Alpha Blazing, it's in the name. I've got fiery rage, I've got fiery attributes. I am a fiery boy. But, <laughs> I just try my hardest sometimes not to rage. Because when you rage, you become more hot-headed and aggressive and just irrational! Oh my god! This bloody, oh, team, they're so dog! Oh my gosh. Enough is enough with the stupid... They're just using every single weapon that is dog and just using it against us. Like, their whole team is just dog. I think the only weapons they've got... I mean, they've got blasters, which is dog. They've got rollers, which is dog. Yeah, they've got all the dog. They've got everything that's dog! Everything that they've got is complete dogness! Oh my gosh! They've got canine attributes. Come on, man. Like, ugh. They're just using, you know, weapons and, you know, just stuff that, you know, isn't like the most, you know, genuine, you know, way of going about life. There, get stuffed. You don't deserve to, like, live on this planet. I mean, that's a bit dark, but I'm sorry. I mean, if you're gonna use a, um, Clash Blaster, you don't deserve to be on this planet. I'm sorry. I mean, I can't talk because I've used them in the past, but I mean... Oh, it's so even though. What? Hold on, have we won? Have we won? Yeah! We came back so good that match. Gosh damn. And do they deserve it? With a Clash Blaster and a freaking Kraken Splat Roller. Gosh damn, do they deserve it. We're a rat fiend. So I'm going to be back with another match and a different weapon. So I'll see you guys for that. No! Alrighty, here we are with another match. It is a rat versus Donny match at Kelp Dome. Alright. I like Kelp Dome. It's a great stage. I used to despise it back in the day. A little fact for you. A little alpha blazing Q&A fact for you. What is your least favourite stage? Probably back in Splatoon, like the first Splatoon game. Probably in the first Splatoon game, my um, least favourite stage would have easily been Kelp Dome. I really just, for some reason, I hated it. But now, I don't know, I've just grown used to it and I've assimilated to its, you know, map style and, you know, it's sort of like the layout of it. And I've just gotten a lot better on it, so I think I just like it better now than I used to. Like, I used to despise it, but now... I don't mind it, I mean, I don't love it to the moon and back, but I mean, I don't despise it either anymore. So, I mean, I guess that's a lift up. That's a good thing, I suppose. So, yeah, that's a cool little fact for you. Alright, let's just um, throw our curling bomb into the middle. Pop our bubbles, okay. Um, I'm gone. I am disappearing like a ninja. I should probably wear ninja, um, you know, uniform. Like, the, not uniform. 
the ninja outfit. If I'm going to make ninja jokes, I need to be wearing the ninja gear, honestly. I think that's just a, a, a rule for all Splatoon players. If you're going to make ninja references, wear the ninja gear. I think that's just a little rule there. I think for just all Splatoon 2 players and Splatoon players in general. Why do the slushies have to always have their way? So little effort and they still get good pay. So many kills to match so much scum. But they still get so much credit anyway. <laughs> Man, bro, ugh. All right, what am I talking about? Sloshers just, they don't deserve a single bit of credit because of the amount of scum and the ease at which they can kill at people. It's just, it's phenomenal. I just despise them for that. They have such an easy time killing people and that's why they're globally loved weapons. But obviously, because they're so easy and they have such an easy learning curve, go away and get staffed, my friend. You're not getting any more, um, you know, easy kills on me, thank you. You can go and get fast. I, I, I couldn't care less about your scenario and what, you know, your, you know, I mean, I care about you as a person, not as an inkling. I mean, I care if you're, you know, your life not be, might not be so great as, you know, in real life, but right now, as an inkling, I don't care! Come on. Ugh. Now Tenta, now Tentabrellas are killing me. Like, that's something, man. If Tentabrellas are killing me, I need to start worrying about my skill. Like, I haven't played Splatoon 2 in ages for some reason. I oh, know, I've just been so focused on, um, on Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. If you've not seen it, but if you haven't seen the series, by the way, if you haven't seen the first few parts I've got, I've got four parts up at the moment, which covers the first and second worlds. I would, you know, recommend it. It's a lot of fun, trust me. Okay, um, great, okay. I can't really blame anyone but myself there. He was a Dooley Squelcher. That's not a scum weapon at all. I mean, Dooley Squelchers aren't really scum. They're just really good. I mean, they're pretty cool to use. I like using them from time to time, honestly. How was that not my kill? I shot him. What What could have killed... Okay, well, we've lost that, obviously. Easily and obviously we have gone and lost that dreadfully. Okay. Well, we know now that that was horrible. I mean... I don't know, I think I need some redemption with this weapon because I just did so poorly and I believe that I just need redemption for that as to as for the reason as to how bad I went with it. Sheesh kebab, we're already 11.52 and we're already halfway over it. Jeez, we're nearly going to be 11.53. Jeez, we're zipping through these levels like there's no tomorrow. Alright. So, I'm going to be back for another match and a new, no, no, new weapon. The same weapon because I want redemption. So see you guys for that! No! Here we are for another match with a Raph versus Dunny match at Piranha Pit! Alrighty. I am highly excited. I mean, I've never done a splat fest on Piranha Pit, so I'm excited to, you know, have a first match on Piranha Pit for a splat fest, so I'm glad. Okay. Now. Curling bomb to mid, spread your ink around, and don't hesitate for a second to kill any inkling that may come in your face. Okay, cool. Alright, I see people already. Okay, you're there, trying to be all slick and split and stuff. Okay. What? Don't you ever... I mean, surely you've questioned the, um, you know, the, the diameter of the... No, what am I saying? Surely you've questioned the reach of the splashdown, because sometimes you really just are like, what the fudge are those lines meant to symbol symbolize if they don't symbolize the radius? If they don't, if those lines there don't symbolize the reach of a splashdown, because like, you know, they don't, because if you're like anywhere near them, like if you're like a little bit past them, see like I'm well past it and I still get hit, that's what's weird. like. Those lines aren't very good at symbolizing how far the reach is. They should really be further spread out because they really aren't doing their job and they aren't showing how far the splashdown reaches. They actually show more. They are, they underdo it. It reaches a lot further than that, so they're sort of lying to the players as they as they make that a thing, you know? Alright, I um need to jet away in a hurry. Okay, um okay, where I where where is everyone? Oh they're here. Okay, bang! And bang! Alright, cool, well done! Kraken, Splat Roller and me, alright, nice. Nope, okay, goodbye. And, um, you're there and you're trying to be flying. You are! Come on! Oh, son of a gun. Squelch your doolies, man. Gee, why are they so good at map control? Like, why are they crushing soul for no reason? 
They are not, like, meant to be. Oh. I just saw it just rampage towards me and I couldn't do anything about it. I saw it and I was like, well, there's my life. Just, you know, gone as quick as I could, you know, um, fathom it. Okay. Um, no, you're not running away like a little chicken nugget and chips. I, I don't want chicken nugget and chips with my meal, thank you. I only want, um, fries and coke. I don't want chicken nugget and chips, thank you. I don't want chicken nugget and chips with that, thanks. Nope, 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 nope. Because I don't want to be known as that one guy who is a chicken. So yeah, cool. Cowering away from a fight like that, typical sploosh. Okay, anywho. Um, please go and get fat, please. Okay. Hey! Oi! Hey! Yes, get out of my face! A lot of this grace. Um, bang! Oh, so close. Um, you're not killing me that easily. You really think you are? Well, then you're, you know, having a hard time realizing my potential because I can kill people like that, you know? Hey! Oh! Wait, no! That should have been a kill! That should have been a kill! How many shots is that? That's four! What are you doing? Kill! Oh, you are a lagging piece of scum. Oh, you deserve to rot in the hell of the nether realms. Okay. I don't believe that was re realistic. He should have died. That guy should have been dead. I don't see how he's alive. I don't understand and fathom how he could have how, how he could have survived. I don't get it. I honestly don't understand and fathom it one bit. But who cares about my opinions and my beliefs? They are absolutely irrelevant and are not, you know, important at this time. Alright, what are we, how long have we been going for? 22 minutes, but I have to take into account actually oh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Um I reckon we'll go one more match, so let's go again for another match! So see you guys for that No We are for the last match with another Rock vs. Dummy match at Capto! Now, because we've lost the past two matches, I want to win this match, finally. So we'll see how we go, but I really want to win. Now, oh, I forgot. Scheisdenhausen. I just saw them. There was the um, Blue Gadulis Deco. And I need to cover those, so I'll do that in the next part. And that'll be recorded, like, straight after this one. So I'm going to use the Blue Gadulis Deco then in the second part of this. So, yeah, for sure I will be using them, okay? Do not worry for a second now, okay? Um, oh, you must have gone up here. Okay, um, there you are, being, trying to be slick and stuff. Um, yeah, die. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I honestly don't care, because you died as well. I mean, as long as, um, the person who killed me goes down as well by another player, or I take someone down with me, I'm happy. And I took someone down with me, and the person who killed me died in at, at the end, like, as soon as after I died. So I'm really pleased with that. I don't really, I'm too mad about that, honestly. It's like only when I die without, like, you know, due to scum or some other, you know, stupid reason, that's when I really start to, you know, blow my, you know, my lid starts to flip off and stuff. All right, yeah, that was easy. I mean, if you think you could dynamo right in front of my face when I'm a duelist player, you have got your another thing coming. God damn. Gosh diggity damn. Son, you have got another thing coming if you think you can do it that easily. Um, no, uh, no. Okay, that's not allowed. Please stop. Okay, you tried. Okay, that was clever. Um, no. How many players do you need to kill me? I mean, gosh, you know, there were two of you and not even... <laughs> there weren't... Like, gee, you guys needed so many players to even try and take me out. God damn, how much, how much reassurance do you need to take me out? I'm not that good, I believe, but I mean, if you think so, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm honoured to be, you know, thought of such high regard in, you know, Splatoon 2 game. Like, I didn't think my, like, skill was to be regarded high enough to be, you know, for two players. <coughs> gee, I've been having spicy potato chips and goddamn. Making me cough and stuff. Okay, um, bye. Um, bye. Oh, you think you're slick and trying to move around and stuff. Nope. Alright, yeah, they're kind of getting destroyed. Oh, okay, well, I just got destroyed, so, you know, that's okay. That happens time to time. Alright, well, let's go back. Alright, I'm going to jump to that guy there. I forgot his... I couldn't really see his name. I mean, it was probably some Japanese name. I'm... Yeah, okay, well, that was inevitable. Honestly, I couldn't do anything. I hate that, though. Like, when you jump and then you're just death greets you, just, you know, arms open, welcome to death. <laughs> arms open, welcome to death! <laughs> Alright, um, you can actually get falafel. 
Okay, cool, and you got Flawful, so I'm glad. You can get Flawful, and you did, so that's awesome, man. I'm glad you could, you know, cooperate with what I'm, you know, feeling. Oh, wow, well done, you killed me. Wow, wow. Good props to the Glue of Dooley's Deco guy who thought he was slick and stuff. <laughs> he kind of was, though, he got me. It was a good kill. Good on you. You did well. <laughs> Alright, we win that one, All right, nice. That makes up for the past two, kind of, so that's cool. That's cool, not school. I sort of said, you know, school there. I don't even know why. That's cool, not school. All right, is school cool, question mark? <laughs> all right. Now, that has been this video. It's been all right. I mean, three victories and um, two losses is okay. That's 60%. That's all right. That's not too bad. So, uh, that has been the end of this video. I'll be addressing the end of this video at the main square. So, see you guys. Out there! Now this video has gone pretty well. Three, you know, wins and two losses is not too shabby, I guess. I mean, damn, Marina looks really weird in purple. I mean, she looks pretty nice, actually. I mean, no matter what color she's rocking, she looks all right. So, I mean, that's not really an issue, but... <laughs> so, if you have enjoyed this video, please blaze like buttons and split in the face. If we can reach three likes, that'd be obviously mind-boggling, blowing and blazing. Please blaze it up in the comment section below, letting me know any suggestions you may have as to how I could improve the quality of my videos. Anything positive you wish to tell me about how what I'm doing well, please share this video with your friends and others you may know who would like these sort of stuff and, you know, enjoy Splatoon 2 Splatfest as a whole and would like to become a humble, beautiful blazer with us all. And please check out my Twitter, that's where all the, you know, polls are and all the reasons I may miss a video and absent for a video one day. That'll, the reason for that will be on Twitter and not YouTube, so if you want... Like, everything you wish to know about my YouTube channel will be on Twitter, so go inquire about what you need to know there on Twitter, and I'm sure I will answer you ASAP. Alright. Please hit the notifications bell so you can stick on the top of these Splatfests and other great Nintendo Switch games that I cover! And please subscribe for more great gaming content like Dim, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, I'm doing at the moment. More Splatoon 2, Splatoon 2, Splatfest right now! And Super Smash Bros. for Switch, I'm so hyped! So if you've not subscribed yet and you are watching my videos on a regular basis, what are you waiting for? And that has been it for this video. So until next time guys, this